kiddos, and welcome to the calculations after our um, uh, Hess's law. Calculations, heart, love calculations. But remember, be a nice human. Be a nice human, because mean people suck. Anyhow, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the Q and the delta H of our magnesium, okay? So because we're finding the Q kiddos, we have to take our um, information from the surroundings. So Q in this case is, uh, we're looking for the information using the water. So we have 35 milliliters or 35 grams. Our specific heat capacity is 4.19 joules per grams times um, Celsius. Our change, change in temperature when 35, uh, 21 degrees um, to up to 35 degrees. So final minus initial, 35 minus 21 is gonna give us a change in temperature of 14 degrees. So we're gonna put in our 35 grams, 4.19, 14 degrees. We're gonna multiply that all and we're gonna get 2,053.1 joules. Now the delta H, remember, is opposite, same number but opposite sign because here, uh, kinetic energy, right? Uh, the temperature went up, but the delta H is potential energy. So we have negative 2,053.1 joules. We're gonna change the joules to kilojoules just to make life a lot easier for us. So we have negative 2.053 kilojoules. Now here's the thing, kiddos. We only use 0.1 grams of magnesium. So we have to actually find the molar enthalpy of this and then um, life is gonna be a lot easier because we have to account for the fact that we use 0.1 grams of the magnesium strip. So now my molar mass of magnesium is 24.31 grams per mole. That's out of your data booklet, nothing fancy there. 0.1 grams and we're gonna multiply it by um, the molar mass, one mole on top, 24.31 grams on the bottom, grams cancel up, and I get 0.00411 moles. And now I'm gonna take my negative 2.053 kilojoules, divide that by 0.00411, which are the moles of magnesium, and we're gonna get a lovely number of negative 499.537 kilojoules per mole. Okay, kiddos? So we're gonna do the same thing but this time we're looking for the Q and the delta H of the magnesium oxide. So of course, because we're looking at Q, we're, looking at, we're using the information for the water, the surroundings. We use 25 mils of the water, so that's gonna to change to 25 grams of water. She was being too and serious, I needed her to too, smile. Yeah, Dagmar thinks I'm being too serious. So the temperature went from 20 to 31.5 degrees Celsius, which just gives us a change in temperature of 11.5 degrees Celsius. So we let our calculator do the magic. Right, and we get um, a Q of 1,204.625 joules, and we're going to change that to uh, kilojoules and the delta H, right? So our delta H, our change in enthalpy is going to be negative 1.204 kilojoules. Now, we only use 0.5 grams of magnesium oxide, so we have to keep that in, uh, in mind, and we have to change that to moles. Find the molar mass, 40.31 grams per mole of the magnesium oxide, and... Now what we have to do is we have to take our negative 1.204 kilojoules, divide that by 0.01 moles, and we get negative 97.096 kilojoules per mole. Remember the Q is positive, the delta H is going to be negative. We've got the same problem with this one. Alrighty, moving on. Do you want me to stop? Oh. No, don't stop. Okay, so here's the thing kiddos. Because there's only one mole, these are the three delta H uh, change in enthalpy equations. Because there's one mole of magnesium oxide, one mole of magnesium, I just took the one mole and multiplied it, multiplied it by the kilojoules per mole that we just found to get kilojoules. So we have negative 97.096 kilojoules, negative 499.53 kilojoules, and negative this was given, right? So now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and flip the first equation because we want to make this. Magnesium plus one half O2 yields magnesium oxide and we have to change, uh, find the delta H of combustion, right? To change the enthalpy of combustion. So I'm gonna flip the first one. If I flip the first one, I have to change the negative to a positive. The rest are the same. I cancel out all the, the reactants and products are the same that get canceled out to get my final answer of negative 688.23 kilojoules because I'm gonna add these all up. So at the end, let's go back to our product, our product, our, our problem. Our problem was the purpose of this investigation is to use Hess's law to determine the standard molar enthalpy of magnesium. And since there's only one mole of magnesium in this balanced equation, I take my uh, 600, negative 688.23 kilojoules, divide that by one mole kiddos, and I get my answer of negative 688.23 kilojoules per mole. Get it? You got this. I'm proud of you. You got this. Okay, be a good human. Be kind. Okay, peace.